Hello, it's Friday today. It's about 20 to 10 and I've been up since about nine. I'm just making my second cup of tea of the day because I always need two to get me started. So what have I got lined up for today? Well, probably getting dressed at some point because I haven't yet. I'm going to do some vloggy stuff for a couple of hours on the laptop here at the table. Izzy's at college, obviously. She left at the crack of dawn to go to that. She was doing her assignment right until bedtime last night. She, I don't know why it took her so long. Maybe it's because we went out in the afternoon with her friends that we did only go out for sort of, I don't know, two and a half hours all told from door to door. But she didn't get up very early, so I think that's where she could improve a bit next week. Talking of sleeping though, ever since the pandemic and lockdown, I've just had trouble sleeping. I used to get proper worn out doing my gigs and I'm not now, so I think that could be part of it. And I don't know, I'm trying to get out and get more daylight now to see if that helps. I don't have a lot of caffeine. I know I seem to be drinking tea and coffee all day, but uh, there's very little caffeine in my coffee and my tea is decaf, so. I have caffeine in the Coke. I have one of those most days. I don't have trouble in theory, staying in bed and sleeping until really, really late. But I'm setting my alarm and making myself get up by nine at the latest, really. But come two o'clock in the morning, I'll be like, ah, go to sleep. <laughs> come on, the morning's coming, go to sleep. Oh dear. I'm going to tidy this away now and uh, make some space. This is how I'm doing with that. Not much progress, but it is a big one. It's ten past eleven. I've got the vlog up, I've had my breakfast and I'm going to get dressed and make coffee and then do comments and DMs and I'm going out for lunch today. It's only a picnic up the hill but it's with a couple of friends of mine who live a few miles down the road but they are within the same county. I happened to bump into them the other day when I was out on one of my long walks and uh, I thought well why don't we uh, meet up for lunch outside somewhere socially distanced and so we are. I should really have a bath and hair wash but I just don't want to get carried away daydreaming in the bath again. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got the discipline to be quick. Oh, see, I could have one this afternoon instead. Decisions, decisions. I kind of just, I'm in the mood to just make coffee and get on. So no, I'll have a bath this afternoon. I am dressed. I've got about an hour before I have to leave. And this is the dribbliest pot I discovered, right? Let's see if I just do it really slowly. Oh, that's the technique. Just be patient and be very slow. I've taken to using the smaller pot because I was reheating second half of the other pot to have and uh, it's just not as nice as that freshly brewed taste. This is a weird shot because my tripod's in the other room <laughs> and I'm being lazy. I've got you on the kitchen towel. I just chopped my head off though. Hi! I have to go in an hour. Did I say that already? I have to go in an hour. I try not to repeat myself on the vlogs and I'm failing miserably. When I was only uploading two or three times a week, it was a lot easier not to repeat myself on the vlogs because I could remember exactly what was in all of them because they were only two or three a week. Now I'm doing every day. I can't remember what I've said, so I keep saying things again. And then when I'm editing, I've edited so many vlogs now, I can't remember what I've edited myself saying. And then when I come to myself saying it again later in the vlog, I don't realise it was already on there. It all becomes a bit of a big blur after a while. <laughs> solitude. I've had a lot of solitude since early March and I've been doing very well with it. But this last couple of days, I've kind of had enough now. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because he's got the college. When I was home educating, I always craved more me time. I don't know if that's weird or not, but, you know, obviously when you have no time at all to yourself at all, you crave it, don't you? And I've got it, and I do like having time to myself, and I am enjoying getting on with my own things. But I do have a tendency, in isolation, to just short-circuit round and round my own little things that I do, my flute playing, my editing, checking comments and responding to comments, and the laundry, the washing up, getting basic food supplies in, hoovering, cleaning the bathroom, tidying, and it's just, it's all the same after a while. I need to, I don't know, I feel like I need to bust out and do different things. But that, I know that's up to me. I, I need to just take an active role now in making myself go out at least once a day, definitely for a walk. So anyway, it'd be really good to get out and have a chat with some other people today. And it's not even related to home ed. It's just, they are musicians actually, musician friends of mine. One of the hardest things for me about the isolation now 
is the indefinite end point to it. I'm the sort of person that likes to know what's going to happen and when, and if I don't have a definite end date for things such as social isolation, I sort of make a fictitious one up in my mind. And for me, that's been next summer. All the way along, I thought, no, I'm not going to be gigging again till next summer. I didn't think I'd be separated from my boyfriend as much as I have, though. That's, um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, until just the last couple of days, really, I've just been thinking, oh, by next summer, it'll all be back to normal again. Now I'm starting to think, what if it isn't, you know? Because uh, it's just, it's all surging out of control again now. And, oh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, and also, I love vlogging, as you know, I really love vlogging, but at the moment I'm in quite a boring phase in life. <laughs> it was quite exciting sending Izzy off to college, and now that that's sort of, I don't know, that she's settling into that now, and just, things are just ticking along now, and I seem to be doing the same thing every day, so... This is where I'm at in life at the moment. But anyway, all that big long chat over, I'm gonna go and respond to one message which I've been trying to respond to for a few days and I'm gonna do a few comments and then tackle this and I don't even know where it came from. Uh, I think Izzy might have taken some crockery out of her room. She tends to save it up for a few days and bring it down, which I'm always, 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 always nagging her about. I think this was uh, this and that. And that, I think that was Izzy's. Mind you, the rest was there. Oh well. Oh, she didn't like the ready meal. I won't get her that again. By contrast, I really liked my prawny curry thing. Oh my goodness. I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm going to get that again. And then I'll be doing laundry this afternoon. Oh, that reminds me, I've got to put another load on first now before I do any comments. See, all the same at the moment. I've done the DM and I've done eight minutes of comments and I have to stop now and I've just remembered something. What was I thinking about doing the washing up? I've got a packed lunch to make. Oh, I'll have to do the washing up when I get back. Whoops. I'm experimenting with chia seeds in my sandwich. Will I regret it? Will it add a pleasing crunch? Actually, probably what will happen is I'll soak up some of the moisture out of the bread and go like I don't know, frog spawn <laughs> or tapioca or something. But we shall see. I'm going to add a slice of uh, Gouda. No, what to call it? Leodama. I've also done the flask of hot water thing. That was still hot from yesterday, what was left. I just tipped it out, tested it with my hand carefully, just in case it was really, really hot. And it, it really was quite hot. It wasn't boiling by any means, but you could have had a nice warm wash with it. I've managed to make a start, look, I've done that much. I did the things that weren't that dirty. Uh, that's finished, but I'll have to hang it out later. I'm going in ooh, eight minutes. So I'm going to go and clean my teeth because I haven't done that yet today. Put my shoes on and then it'll probably be about time to go. <sighs> I've arrived at our destination. It was all uphill all the way and it took me 24 minutes on the scooter. But I did a lot of wheeling. I'm not going to lie. But it's going to be a joy going back because it's downhill all the way. <laughs> so that'll be fun. It's quite windy. A lot of cloud cover. As you can see, I have my umbrella. I can feel rain in the air now, to be honest. I'm back home, cold hands. Well, I've had a very nice social interaction today. <laughs> nice picnic out in the fresh air with friends. How good for the soul. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've come back to the rest of my washing up and laundry to hang out. It's already five to three and cold enough to make your fingers cold outside. There is a little bit of a breeze, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang the washing out or if I'm just gonna put it on the air in the house. Cause I've got a feeling I'll be bringing it in still damp and having to put it on the air in the house in a few hours. So I'll just hang it up inside. Do you know what? It's all big towels and things. I think I will put it out. At least I can start it off drying out there. There we are. I didn't realise quite how many towels there were, so they might as well go on the line because they're not exactly time consuming to get in in a hurry, are they? Now then, any beans today? Mm. Oh yes. There's a bean. There's another bean. It's taken them quite a while to be ready. Doesn't want to come off. Any more? For any more? Oh, there's a big fat one down there. Got it. Oops. Oh, that was a bit of a fail. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, bean leaf. I will do better in my garden next year. I'm assuming we're still going to be having COVID to thwart us well into next year, so might as well do some potting inside. Courgette update, something like that's the healthiest one I've had in ages, to be honest. Bit of a late bloomer, that one. I'm thinking I'm just going to get these tomatoes in because they're starting to go blighty. Look, can you see that? And the ones I picked and that were ripening inside are going all blighty. So I think what I'm going to do is just cook them green, pick them now and cook them green. Otherwise, uh, I think they're going to be inedible. Oh, look. Strawberry, all the effort to grow that strawberry. And a slug has got it first. I could do with doing some deadheading out here and uh, weeding. We really are coming to the end of the season though, aren't we? What happened with that one? Oh, there's a little baby courgette on there. The other one just, uh, it went mouldy before it grew big enough to eat. There we are, we should eat these tonight really. Yeah, look, this is what's happening to my tomatoes. That's not good, is it? Can I eat that or should I put that in the bin or the food waste? I don't want to put it in the compost in case it's something that spreads through our garden. I'm assuming that's right. Oh, annoying. They're all doing it. I suppose they're spreading to each other. I'm just going to have to put them in the food waste, aren't I? That's annoying. Ugh. What about these? Yep, that one's doing it. All the effort to grow it as well. Can I cut around the blight and eat the other bit? I don't know. Those are all right. I'll cook them today. I'll go and get some more now. I'll put them in this little pot. Mm. Oh, I don't know, they kind of feel like they've got more growing to do, especially those, they're only little. Maybe some of the bigger ones. I've got that many, I think I'll leave the rest to grow a bit more, they do seem a bit small. That one's starting to go red a little bit. Izzy should be home before too much longer because she's only doing a half day today. It's about a quarter to four now. I've just remembered I was going to have a bath this afternoon, wasn't I? I still quite fancy one. My hair really needs a wash. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. But I'm going to go and nip out with my mask this time and my wallet and try and buy a new little shoulder bag with pockets so I can pop GoPro in and out of it, basically. And then I'll have a bath. Oh, that'd be nice. Do you know, it's just finally, now Isabella's definitely gone up to GCSE level English and Maths, I am finally starting to just chill out a bit and accept that I can't do a lot about this whole corona situation and I'm allowing myself some little pockets of time where I just relax and do stuff just because it's nice and that's lovely. And so I'm going to go and buy a bag now, just because I want to, because I can, and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. I found the bag of dreams. Look at all these compartments. Loads and loads. Ooh, and more inside. That'll make my life easier and happier. And guess who I found wandering around the streets? Okay, I thought I'd made a decision and then I spied some other ones. Ooh. That's not not me. I could live with that one. Not so keen on the shape, but they're nice and small and natty. Oh. Oh, I quite like the design on that one. That's twelve ninety nine. It's not waterproof though. I need it to be showerproof ideally. Oh, we're back home now, aren't we, Isabel? Isabel's got an embarrassing story to tell. It wasn't today. embarrassing for me. It was Are you sure? I would have been embarrassed. <laughs> I wasn't embarrassed, actually. So basically, I was sitting on the train and I realised, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So I trotted off to the bathroom. And on these trains, they have like these slidey door openings. It goes, you have to click a button and you have to click a button to lock it and you have to flip a switch to lock it never mind anyway and i clicked the open button it went and then there was a woman there doing a pee and then she was like oh <laughs> and then i was like oh sorry and then she was then she was like thoroughly clicking the close button and it just went <laughs> while she was sat there on the toilet <laughs> oh how funny I felt 
was so bad for her. Today has turned out to be a great day. I've made three purchases because we went in a charity shop. Isabel's got two charity shop acquisitions to show you in a minute, haven't you? Yeah. But anyway, here are mine. I went for this bag in the end. Look, I'm thinking Sony. That's this camera. <laughs> GoPro. <laughs> as long as it's not in its casing. And if it is in its casing, it can go in there. Marvellous. And purses and keys and things. Excellent. Tissues, masks, sanitizer, etc. But look, moving on to the puzzles. A thousand pieces. I'm going to regret this late at night in poor light, not daylight, because some time later <laughs> look how small the pieces are oh my goodness I am gonna so regret that but anyway it was 99p and you know puzzles can be expensive if you buy them new so took advantage of that and I'm very glad this also has a nice fold out picture Whoop, which I can't unfold with one hand but you get the gist and also <laughs> Train one. I like trains. <laughs> what is it with puzzle boxes? Oh, it's sellotaped, that's why. I have to get the scissors out. Very excited for the train puzzle. So those are both thousand pieces, so they should keep me going for a while. Oh, Isabel. This reminds me of the Kinky Boots musical that we <laughs> saw at the cinema. Like the Kinky Boots musical. I was telling her she should do a big strutting pose, like the, the character of that. It was really over the top, extra as you call it. Was it like this? Yes! <laughs> We told the ladies in the charity shop that we went into that Izzy really likes Victorian style and they said, we've got just the item for Madam. Well, they didn't say it like that. Uh, but yes, here it is. I like the collar. Mm, $6.99, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the shoes. I'm not a fan of high heels, but Isabel is a fan of high heels. I like not too high heels. Also, my feet are a bit flaky. Oh, they're a bit sore at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, they, they don't feel bad. I need more different types of shoes to practice dancing in high heels because in almost all musicals, females have to wear heels. Okay. Not ensemble, but like most main characters. Well, there we are then. You're working on your future career. Yes. <laughs> we. Oh my God, blind me to that again. That's impressive. It's <laughs> not impressive. I haven't done this. I hope the shoe doesn't fly off and go through the window. It's pretty stable. Oh, I should put, repeat that. Oh, blind me. I'd dislocate my hip my, if I tried that. I need to work on my pirouettes. Let me try. You were doing a nice shuffle earlier as well, weren't you? I can't do them properly in these shoes yet, but... I'll I'll go on that, that bit there. Go on there, shuffle. Thanks, Lizzie. It's about a quarter to five now. Izzy and I have had a chat and she's disappeared off upstairs. I'm going to go down in Flute Cave and practice my flute for the day that the gigs restart. If you're interested in what my gigs were like, feel free to click on this playlist, Adventures with My Flute, which shows what I actually used to be doing with my time before Covid hit us all. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like because it helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate it. And if you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, feel free to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!